Hello, beautiful souls. This is Ona with Art of Awakening. If you are um, have been following it for a while, I did have a name change there. I've um, uh, announced that in a previous video, but uh, welcome so much and welcome back. Welcome if you're new to the channel. It's great to have you here. And today I'm really, really excited to have a special guest here. Um, her name is Deborah Fru, and she is the founder of the Worldwide Metaphysical Tribe. And she's also a business coach for metaphysicians, a tarot teacher, and a very talented reader. Um, welcome, Deb. Hi, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm just going to introduce you a little bit because you've got a fascinating uh, story. And uh, then we'll talk a little bit about uh, an upcoming event that you've got, uh, the Worldwide Metaphysical Tribe. Uh, you know, bonfire gathering. So um, Deb Freer grew up in the Chicago suburbs. She's the second of seven children and the daughter of Marion Thompson, who was the founder of La Leche League International. And Clement Thompson, Thompson, the leader of a research group that invented the first remote control. Um, Deb learned to read the tarot in 1986. And since then, she's traveled the world, helping others on their quests using the guidance of the cards. In 1993, she interviewed the heads of many of the world's religions for a documentary film commemorating the 100th anniversary of the original Parliament of the World's Religions at the Columbian Exposition in Chicago in 1893. And there it was that she realized that all roads that are committed to with honesty and kindness at their core lead to the deep spiritual connection that we all crave and that everyone is always on the path. In 2014, Deb founded the Worldwide Metaphysical Tribe, which is an annual gathering of professional metaphysicians and alternative practitioners dedicated to working together and promoting each other in cooperation, not competition. Uh, Deb lives on a log cabin on a lake in the forest a few hours outside Chicago with her husband. And um, I am just so thrilled uh, to have you here. And just to kind of give people the background. I met Deb last year because a mutual friend of ours suggested that I might be interested in coming to the metaphysical tribe. And so I did. It was, it was quite a haul for me. It was about seven hours <laughs> traveled down there. And it was wonderful when I got there. And it was just a really, really supportive group. Um, just, you know, just interesting people, a very high vibe. Um, there were some speakers and some entertainment, but really it was just really about coming together. And it really meshed with what I've been getting lately from Spirit for the past few years. I keep getting this message. Uh, lightworkers need to come together and they need to come together in person. Um, it just feels like that's really the next step. There's, I'm just feeling really strong this call for light workers to unite, to start coming together in person, and to start really grounding what we do locally as well as um, you know individually and as well as virtually. So um, the local presence, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling is really important, and I know that you agree with me, Deb, because of what you're doing. Um, so I just, I just want to ask you, where did this idea come from for this light networking event? Well, actually, it's kind of a crazy story, and I'm going to start in the middle because otherwise it would take up our entire time, <laughs> but it was one of many coincidences that were raining down on me at one particular time. Um, living out here in a log cabin on a lake in the woods, I was getting really burned out, and so I joined up with this group through a series of crazy events. Um, but they're far away from me. They're an hour and a half ride. And um, once I got there and I felt their community, I quickly became friends with a lot of people there. Well, most of the people who come to this uh, center called the Gathering Lighthouse, and it's in Lombard, Illinois, mm -hmm. um, most of these people are psychics of some stripe and metaphysicians of some kind. And so... I decided that, you know, everybody should come out and just chill in the country and we would have a big bonfire party at my house. And that was the plan for the first two years. But after the, for, after the first two years were finished, uh, the third year, I realized that there was something bigger going on than 
just having a party. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't quite put my finger on it. Um, and then one day it hit me that there's networking for all the astrologers can go to their thing and all the tarot people can go to their millions of meetings and, and conclaves and so forth. And, and that's good because it helps you in your particular modality. But where do we all come together? I feel that we've been kind of brainwashed into thinking that we should be competing. And, yes. and, and really, that's not, what's, what, that's not why we're here. We can't, no one person can do it alone. Exactly. Yeah. I feel that the, the world is getting ready to turn to us and say, you know, what do you think? And, and my, my fear is that, you know, when that curtain goes down, that they'll see us saying things like, oh, well, you're too famous, or you do it wrong, or you charge too much money, or, mm -hmm. you know, all of these crazy competitive things, which have nothing to do with anything. They certainly are not going to bring the shift. Right. And so to me, it's cooperation. If you want the shift, if you've been feeling the shift coming, and you really want to now step into it, cooperation is the way to go. And, you know, I, I started this because I had friends in different modalities who accepted each other. Yeah. And I felt that this was my core group. And they have spread that lovely infection to everybody who comes because they just accept everyone and then everyone else accepts everyone and we learn so much from each other and there's so much that we can do together that we can't do by ourselves that is so absolutely true and this really is this is business in the 5d this is you know we're not out to cut each other's throats we're right. out to build something new and beautiful in the world and we can do it together we can collaborate even though like you know the old way was oh you know we're all competing because we have very similar offerings but it's like when you hit this more 5d it's like everybody has their own different take on it and we're going to attract the clients that are right for us spirit's going to send us what we need in business as anything else and the more we collaborate the more we come together we can really build a lot of opportunity and you know i i, I see that happening in 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 you know, the event that you put on last year, it was just like all these ideas bubbling up and ways to come together and create things that really are benefit everybody. Absolutely. Um, you know, a long time ago, I read a book called Long Tail Marketing, and mm -hmm. now people understand it, but back then it was a new concept. And yeah. what Long Tail Marketing is, is that um, instead of trying to be IBM, where everybody used to use IBM, now it would be Microsoft or Google, mm -hmm. um, or instead of trying to be Kleenex, where everybody buys Kleenex, you know, you don't buy the, there is no other brand, you know, I mean, right. that yeah. thinks of. Um, in fact, it's so ubiquitous that we call everything that fits that description as Kleenex, you know. Right. Instead of trying to be that, what we should do is find out who is exactly our market, who mm -hmm. is the the people that want to hear from us, because the people who want to hear from me are not necessarily the people who want to hear from you. No, nope. And yep. there is so much to go around. And every time I feel like um, I need to maybe bring in a little more business, I niche myself down, 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 yes. which not only pops up all the people that are meant to talk to me, but it frees up everybody else to go talk to you and everyone else who's doing it. That's right. Yes. Yeah. So and, and the funny thing is, it's like, even if we are, even if we do have the same target people, what I've noticed with the work that we're doing is like, we can, like, we can, we could probably bounce clients back and forth because I do a little business coaching too. And it's like, and they're going to get some from, you know, things from you and some things from me, even if it's the very same clients. And I'm seeing the clients exactly. that I work with, they're working with a lot of other people too. And it's like, <laughs> I know I do that. So yeah, it's like, there's, there's no sense in competition. <laughs> so one of the things that I really enjoy that has come out of the Worldwide Metaphysical Tribe networking event is this great uh, deep bed of referrals that are available 
for example, I've been reading tarot for 33 years professionally, and someone will come up to me and say, hey, I heard you're really good. I want, I'd like a reading from you. Um, what I'm really interested in is trying to figure out when I should start thus and so. And I'll just say to them, you know what? You don't want a tarot reader. You want an astrologer. An astrologer can really nail that down for you. And I happen to know a lot of astrologers now. So how about I give you a few referrals and, you know, you can tell them that I sent you if you like. But basically, you know, this is, this is what you should be doing. You shouldn't be talking to me. And it's wonderful for me to be able to help people. People who need body work. I don't do body work. But I know a million people who do body work now. And so I can send them, what kind of body work do you need? What kind of problem? Yeah. Here's some people that you should run that by and see if, you know, they can help you. And that's and, really, it's beautiful because it's like, it's really client centered. It's like, yes, it's helping the person, right? It's really your, yeah, that's. It's, it's, it's that very up. personalized and, and it's because we're meeting each other face to face. Yeah. If we aren't meeting each other face to face, we're not getting that depth of knowledge about each other and just that feeling of being together and really understanding what you're hearing from the other person. So, you know, to me, that's, that's one of my favorite things. I'm a connector and I really get happy when I can connect people. So. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, tell me about, okay, the, the Worldwide Metaphysical Tribe, it is August 10th. Yes. In Franklin Grove, Illinois. Yes. And um, tell me about who, who would benefit from going? What kind of participants would really get a lot out of attending? Well, it's interesting because we serve everyone. I have, um, of course, my speakers, which have all been in the business forever. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them, our first speaker is Dawn Silver. She's from the Chicagoland area. She's a well-known, I met her as an astrologer, but she's a naturopath. She's an astrologer. She's, um, she's a crystal healer. Now here's something I know nothing about. And so I'm excited to take her class because, or, or attend her talk because, you know, Christy, I love crystals. I have them everywhere. Is, I'm too analytical. Is my smoky quartz really taking all of the negative energy out of the room? Is my citrine really bringing me abundance? I'm way too analytical for this. So I want to speak to somebody who the name of her talk is The Cosmic Origins of Crystal Healing. Mm -hmm. Now, come on. She's got my attention. I can't wait. We yeah. also have a crystal dealer coming who's going to have all the crystals that she talks about nice. so that if you're interested, then you can get the ones that refer to you. Right. Our second speaker is uh, Jean Kuhn. She's a business coach. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm sorry to say this, but it's a true fact that people who are very right brain oriented like we are tend to be allergic to bookkeeping Mm -hmm. charging, yep. um, taxes, yep. spreadsheets. We just don't like that stuff. And Jean uh, is great for getting you, sort of vaulting you into being in business instead of just doing this as a hobby, something that you do on the side. She, the name of her talk is How to Make Money Fast. And that's what she's good at. Sure. And, and there's a lot of solopreneurs that I know that go to her. And so I can't wait. I, she's very dynamic. I cannot wait to, to hear her tips. Our keynote speaker is Janet Barris. She's known all over the world. She's um, a noted terrorist and astrologer who she kind of invented the, um, the whole conference thing. In 1995, I think she held her first conference called uh, the World Tarot Congress. It, over the three times that she held it, she had people from 42 states and 10 countries. So every famous tarot person you've ever heard of came. Mm. And it was quite the bash. Now, I didn't attend it because I didn't know it was happening, but 
I've looked back through the history of it online and it, I wish I had been there. And she's talking about cooperation, not competition. So right. yeah. that's, she's, she brings it all home for us. So we have this level of participant. Then we have people that, you know, have been in it for years and new ideas are just what you need. You know, when, when you've been in for years and years, new ideas are, are just like, like gold. And so our veteran readers and healers are all going to be able to benefit from that. We have people who are new at it. Um, and then we have people, I have invited a few people who actually have just awakened to their um, gifts and they need context. And I think this is good context because they will feel their community and they will see how the community works at its best. So this is very exciting to me. I'm, I'm super excited that some of these people are coming because um, they, I have spoken with them in private, you know, gone to their homes and talked to them about what's ahead for them. You know, it's not, not in a predictive way, but you know, what, the, what it's like to have this gift and what do you do about it? And so now to have an entire 125 people um, to support you is just what they need. So, so that's who we have coming. Absolutely, and that, like, from my perspective, is one of the one of the biggest reasons to start coming together personally in groups is that we activate each other, we yeah. awaken each other, and. I'm just kind of feeling like there are there's a new whole new wave of people either just starting to awaken about to awaken and that when we start coming together physically locally that just that activates that energy and it's really going to assist in this whole process globally worldwide um, mm -hmm. so absolutely so what are some of the positive outcomes that you found from um, from hosting this event either you personally or that you've heard from attendees after the fact well I'm telling you the the testimonials blow me away because you never know what people are really thinking or experiencing until they take the time to write it down and tell you. And I have some of these sprinkled on the webpage at internalwilderness.com. This is where you would sign up to start the whole process of, of coming to the event. And uh, at internalwilderness.com, there are, I've sprinkled a few of these wonderful testimonials in that just make me feel so good that I, I did it. You know, I, I got what I was aiming yeah. for. I'm going I'm to show people this, uh, the page, if you don't mind. I'll just kind of oh, show Oh, absolutely. That. There we go. That's what, that's what the page looks like. So, so if, you, if you Google Worldwide Metaphysical Tribe, it'll come up. Right, right, right. And there's a, a mailing list that you get on and then when you sign up on this mailing list you'll immediately get links to tickets and more information and so forth um, but this is a picture from last year this year we have a drone coming so we're going to take some aerial <laughs> seriously <space>. how fun <laughs> <laughs> how fun oh that's cool um yeah, awesome. So, yeah, I know personally this has really been inspiring for me to attend because I, I have a local group that I had actually started the year before and really had a bunch of life changes, didn't really do anything with it. And I really had this big, like, fear. It's like, oh, it was like, scary. I was like, you know, I wanted to start it, but it was like, I, I can't do this. And then after it was after I went down to your event that I finally was like, I got to do this. So wow. you were a real inspiration for me in starting that. And this is springboarding um, into something global because I'm realizing that this is something that really there's a, there's a desire for. Um, I, I kind of mentioned it on YouTube just to of last week and I got all these requests for oh you know can you can you help us can you give this instructions for how to do it so I will, I will be posting those instructions of you know just um, basic instructions for starting a local group um, I'll, I'll leave that link below 
Um, but your event and, and what you're doing really, really was an inspiration for that. So I noticed, yeah. I noticed after the event that you just blossomed. Oh yes, there. oh yes, and that's and what that, I mean by energizing and activating each other. I mean, really, absolutely. You were having just great turnout, and I was so amazed. Yeah. I was just happy that you know you were you were having so much success there because. There's, you know, it's funny, you get together in a group like this, and nobody wants to go home. Right? You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with the bonfire. Tell people about the bonfire, because there's, there's, there was a fire at the end, literally. And um, we all sat around the fire, and we we're looking at the stars and looking for meteors. It was pretty cool. Well, that's how this started. Uh -huh. This started around a bonfire with a Ouija board cake, and we were doing <laughs> readings for each other. <laughs> and watching the Perseid meteors fly overhead, and that's how it all started. Uh huh. That's beautiful, and there's that connection with the star tribes, right? Right. right. <laughs> Absolutely. Very cool. All right. Well, um, I guess finally, I, I think we're kind of running out of time here, but um, I just want to thank you. I think there are a few tickets left, right? That you're not you're not looking for like like the tickets. I, I mean, it, it was what forty dollars, or I mean. It's very reasonable, you know. Of course, you got to find a place to stay, but um, honestly, until the end of May, it's until really the, the end of May. Bring, but, yeah, the tickets are forty dollars. The tickets are forty dollars till the end of May. Then for the month of June, the mm -hmm. price doubles. This okay. is why I'm doing everything I can to get out there now, so yeah. people still have a chance to get them at the super reasonable rate. Right. Um, yep. We do offer two kinds of tickets. It's dinner with the group or mm -hmm. dinner on your own. Yep. Um, with the group is great because we go down to a local restaurant and we have a super good time. I know you were there last year. Oh, yeah, it was great. It was great. And, yeah. Uh, and and then you're you know since we are deep in the country, you don't have to find dinner for yourself which could be a little bit of a challenge yeah. um although you do get two hours so it's not like i'm gonna rush you there and rush you back you've got sure. two hours to figure yeah. it out um in the meantime uh yes we're we start at 11 so registration starts at 11 our first speaker is at noon mm -hmm. and then we're going to have two speakers and then we'll have a little vendor time and networking time and just, you know, getting settled time. Yep. And then we'll all go out to dinner. Then we come back, I'll give a little keynote, or not, not a keynote, I will give a welcome. Mm -hmm. And we do a free raffle because all the vendors give us something to raffle off. And our vendors, by the way, are curated. So meaning that they are just there for uh, professionals. I'm not trying to do an expo where there's everything. Right. This is this, this is, is very targeted to yes. people who have chosen and feel called to and are actually making a career out of their metaphysical talents and are serious business people, you know, to come together and help each other. And again, this is really the 5D business model. Right, of right. Collaboration. Yeah. Well, we'll um, we also have a, a health corner this year in our vendor area because none of us can afford to get sick. So <laughs> this is true. <laughs> we have uh, we have lots of uh, immune helpers, or such as the owners of the inn have their own bees, so we'll have their honey, oh, we'll have yeah. CBD oil. I'm looking into getting some elderberry syrup. We're working on you know just having. Uh, Things that are going to boost you so that you'll be able to always pull through, you know, when when uh, you feel like you might be coming down with something because we just can't afford that in our lives. Anyway, and then uh, afterwards, we'll have lots of networking time, um, lots of time to, uh, oh, we'll have our keynote speaker, of course, and then the Perseid Meteor Shower. So it's so much fun. We end at about 10, 30, 11, depending. And uh, then there's hotels in the area. This is all, you know, written down when you sign up for the on internalwilderness.com. You'll find the, uh, when you sign up, you'll get all the info, so. Okay. Well, thank you, Deb. This is, you are just, you are so inspiring and so is the event. And um, I am so looking forward to attending again this year. And I know that uh, it's just gonna be fantastic, so. Um, 
I encourage if, if you are watching this and really feel inspired, like, oh gosh, you're going to feel that hit in your gut. If you're meant to be there, that's going to be like really telling you, oh my God, I got to be there. I'd, I'd really encourage you to sign up because it's, it is like, you don't have room for like <laughs> hordes and hordes of people, right? It's, it's sort of a, um, well, I'm down to, I'm, I'm down to just a large handful of tickets at this point. Okay. So yeah, we, we do have a capacity, so we can okay. only go up to that. So. But, but like, if you're too late for it, you can always just sign up and, and you'll get oh. advance notice next time. So and Absolutely. you've got a Facebook group, I think too, right? Or, um, we have a Facebook page called Worldwide Metaphysical Tribe, and yeah, that's a great page. You can join it, but it's public. You can look at anything. Absolutely. Perfect. Okay. Well, thank you, Deb. You have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you on August 10th. Thank you, Christy. I can't <laughs> wait to see you. Okay. Well, thank you everybody for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed this, uh, please feel free to share it with anybody that you feel uh, would benefit from knowing about this event. I think it's, it's fabulous. And the whole idea of getting light workers together. Um, again, if you are interested in starting your own group, um, of local, you know, it doesn't have to be for business. It, it, it can be just for light workers. Um, I, I'm really encouraging people to do that. I, I, I put together a little instruction for how to do that that's below. And again, um, if you're interested in the Worldwide Metaphysical Tribe, um, that'll be internalwilderness.com. Um, was it slash? Anyway. Slash slash worldwide metaphysical tribe <laughs> there we go and that's how to find deb and her event all right well thank you have a lovely day and we'll catch you again later